Coming up next, three new fragrances, new releases from major niche houses that you need to try. I'm gonna give you a quick introduction and first impression coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose here at Osme Perfumery, of course in Miami, Florida. And today's video is three new fragrances. These are three releases that have come out very recently here in the United States. And they're from three wonderful niche houses and three that based on my initial smellings, I'm really enjoying them. And I wanna recommend that you get your nose on them and introduce you to them right now, right here. And in no particular order, I'm gonna go first with one of the really, I, I would say most anticipated releases of 2022 from Amouage. This is from the Opus series, from the Opus, and that is Reckless Leather. Um, I talked about Silver Oud. I did a quick video, I don't know, roughly a week or two ago. One of the others from this Opus series Reckless leather, again, you can see the bottle. It's like a matte grayish brown color. Really, really unique. Uh, similar, obviously, style. You got the Swarovski crystal up here. You got the logo, uh, you know, the Amouage logo there in the middle. But this one is, wow, this is bold. It reminds me kind of almost of a very, the opening is very spicy and, and kind of like peppery. Uh, it's got, one of the things that's very unique about this is where Silver Oud was done by Cecile Zorokian, who again is like so popular right now as one of the most sought after perfumers. This one was done by one of the most respected and most famous perfumers out there, Alberto Marias, in collaboration with Pierre Negrin, one of my favorite perfumers. So you combine those two. This is, I think that's one of the reasons why it was so anticipated, but they did not they did not disappoint. When you smell this, again, this is what niche perfumery is all about. This is not your typical leather. This is going to be one that just right from the bat, when you smell it, and I'm gonna put it right here on my hands, you can kind of get a honest, real life impression. Yeah, it's really interesting because it's a little bit fresh and spicy. You got some cardamom at the top. It's also got uh, nutmeg, in there, which gives it also a little bit of a spicy sweetness. But what really hits me initially, what stands out on my nose to this is there's a note of agarwood smoke. Agarwood, of course, is what oud comes from. Oud is the resin that comes from agarwood, the agarwood tree. So it's got this very oud smoky flavor to it. This is one of the smokiest leather fragrances that I've smelled in a long time. So if you like that scent profile, this is absolutely something you gotta get your nose on, that kind of smoky, oud, leather, but it's fresh enough and spicy enough at top that it's not that pungent. It's not like that pungent oud, although this is strong, it's not pungent. What I would say, this is just very brash, it's very bold, it's very in your face. It's gonna grab people's attention, but as it dries down, I'm telling you, it's not that kind of like, like stinky, pungent oud. So try this out if you like that type of smell. Next, let's go into one that I literally just smelled the other day and instantly, instantly love this one. This is Slight of Fern from Mosque Milano. I hadn't smelled a new one from them in a little while, probably been about four, five, six months, uh, you know, since I'd smelled one of their last fragrances. Love what they're doing. Um, Always love these bottles, these 30 ml bottles. You can get it for around $150, I believe, uh, roughly retail. Uh, you can check it out here on the, the website at Osme. This is super green fougere. Fougeres seem to be, I sense a trend of, I'm smelling more and more of that kind of class, that return to these classic masculine fougere fragrances. Slight of, uh, slight of fern, as you can imagine, fern being the green leafy plant. You can even see the logo there, has the fern leaf on there. This one is interesting though. It's got fig, it's got thyme, it's got oak moss, which of course making it really a classic fougere. But this is 
done by the same perfumer who created Invasion Barbar for MDCI. So Invasion Barbar is absolutely one of the most classic Fougere fragrances of all time. It's legendary in the fragrance community and in the niche perfume, uh, perfume world especially. So the fact that he's kind of created a new green, this is even, I would say, a more green, kind of a little bit more daring Fougere than Invasion Barbar. If you like Mask Milano and you like what they do, this is one that you absolutely got to get your nose on. Slight to fern, again, this kind of spicy, and let me, let me put it on my hand so you can get a, get a, uh, a reaction here. Yeah, it is. It, it just brings a smile to my face because it's like they've taken Fougere to a whole different level. Uh, some people may not even smell this initially and think of Fougere, but as it dries down and gets it more into that oak moss base, you'll really recognize it. But at the top, it is really different. That fig and that thyme and the greenness, mm, really, really interesting. Love what they're doing there. And lastly, this comes to another new release from the house of Nobile 1942. This is Nobile 26. Uh, this has been out for a little bit now. I, I've smelled it a bunch of times. It's been out for about a month. It's extremely popular. I've been here. I've talked with uh, fellow subscribers. When they're here, this is one that I've asked people, hey, try this out when they're walking around. And instantly, I've seen a couple people buy it literally on the first smell. Like the first time they smell it, they put it on their skin, they wear 10, 15 minutes. I've seen at least two people buy it that way. So I think this is gonna be extremely popular. Again, uh, for the price point, this is, I believe, what, these are 75 milliliters? Yes. 75 milliliters is what, 135? 100, $135, 75 milliliter, such cool bottles, such cool design. You cannot really beat that price. What Nobile, Nobile 1942 has done in the niche world to me is nothing short of amazing because they have different price points for different fragrances. But the quality at this level, to me, is basically probably unmatched for the price. So if you're looking really, really good value, you gotta check this out. And just let me read uh, a couple notes of the reason why I like this one. You've got bergamot, tangerine, pink peppercorn, licorice, okay? Nutmeg, orange flower, coffee, dry woods, tonka beans, patchouli, vanilla. Now, do not be scared off on the licorice note. Some people immediately, when they hear licorice, they're like, what? Uh, you know, it's not necessarily a note for everybody. This is a fragrance that is really, really versatile. It's very universal appealing. You can wear it in any occasion. On their fragrances, I easily get A plus hours of wearing. I get good projection. I get compliments from their fragrances. And for the price point of $135, I mean, it is to me an absolute no-brainer, especially if you like those notes. Again, this one's a little bit spicy at the top of that pink peppercorn. And that nutmeg note and the coffee note are what get me in this fragrance. I love those combination. It almost sounds gourmandish. And I can see where some people would say this has a little bit of that gourmandish feel but it's not too sweet and it's not too cloying. It is, I think, just right. I think they hit a home run with number 26 as far as being a mass appealing, popular niche fragrance. So there you have it. Three fragrances, three new fragrances that are out very recently that I recommend you trying, getting your nose on. Come in here to Osme, order samples, do what it is that uh, you do to explore your new fragrances. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back soon, of course, with another video. Appreciate all your support. Peace, love, and perfumes.